Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at the Senna Sky Beast console, a universal lighting controller for the Arri Sky panels and all other DMX lights. First what we have to do is to connect the console with the lights using the built-in lumen radio or the second in the case where the lights don't have the lumen radio with the usage of the Senna DMX receivers. So let's start. Connect the USB cable with the USB input on the light and the DMX cable from the receiver with the DMX input on the light. Go to the main menu on the sky panel and set up DMX settings to P30 mode. Next, set up DMX address for the first light to address 001. For the second light, 031. For the third, 061, and so on. And finally, make sure extended color is off. Now when the receivers are connected with the lights, turn on the Sky Beast and check the receiver and the console are on the same universe. The selected universe is displayed on the right top corner on the display. You have six universes and on each universe, 16 banks. Each one of those 16 banks has eight channels. So if the console is set on U1, then equally the receiver has to be set on number one. If it's not, hold the buttons on the receiver for a few seconds. When a button starts to flash, start pressing the button until you reach the number of the universe you need. Now, when the console is paired with the receiver, you're ready to start to operate the console. The console can work on sky panels mode or the standard mode. To set the desirable mode, enter the menu by holding the menu button for three seconds. With the rectangular buttons, choose sky panels or standard mode and confirm with a short press of the menu button. If the sky panel mode is chosen, with two rectangular buttons, select the program you wish to use with your sky panels. To use the full potential of SkyBeast console, our advice is to update your sky panels to firmware 4.0 and higher. Now when everything is set, you're ready to start to use the console. The main functions of the sky panels are managed with eight sliders, so let's explain the slider functions. The first slider has two functions, to control the power of the light and to browse through the main menu only when the rectangular button is simultaneously pressed on the right hand side of the console. With the first slider you choose the program you want to use, CCT, HSI, RGBW, filters Lee and Roscoe. X, Y and FX. Let's start with the menu. In CCT mode, as we said, the first slider is for volume. The second slider is for color temperature. And the third slider is for the green magenta correction. In RGBW mode, the second, third and fourth slider doesn't have a function. Use the fifth slider for the intensity of the red, the sixth for the green, the seventh for the blue, and the eighth slider for the intensity of the white. Of course, by mixing primary colors, you will get all other colors, and adding the white affects color saturation. In the next menu, we choose the filters. Hold the right rectangular button to reach the filters, keep holding the button, and with the second slider, choose the filter Lee or Roscoe. Now you can release the rectangular button, but make sure you move your fingers from the slider when you release the rectangular button, because as you can see, the motorized sliders will automatically return to the starting position. And with the first slider, set up the light power. With the second slider, choose the light base, 3200 kelvins or 5600 kelvins, and with the rest of the sliders, 
browse through all available filters in the Ari Sky panel. Next in line, we have X, Y coordinate setup. Finally, we have all pre-programmed ARRI effects. So hold the rectangular button on the right slide, push the first slider to the end, keep pressing the rectangular button and with the second slider, choose the effect. Party, candle, clouds, club lights, color chase, cop car, etc. When the effect is chosen, release the rectangular button, but make sure to move your fingers from the slider and adjust the effect with the rest of the sliders. When you are done with the first light setup and you want to set the next light, simultaneously press both rectangular buttons. And when they start to flash, press the rectangular buttons individually and choose the light you want to manage next. On one universe, you can manage 16 lights. If you need more than 16 lights, then you have to change the universe and continue with other 16 lights. Don't forget to set the correct universe on the receiver. There is also an option to use a few particular lights or all of them in the group with the same setting. In this case, you have to link them together. So let me show you how to do this. Simultaneously press two rectangular buttons. When they start to flash, hold the menu button for three seconds. As you can see, now you're in the menu where you can link the chosen lights to one group. With the rectangular buttons, you can choose the lights you want to join to the group and confirm with a short press of the menu button. Continue until all the lights you wish to group are linked together. You can set up up to eight groups of lights. When the lights are set, Confirm setup with a short press on both rectangular buttons. If you want to take out a certain light from the group, undo this light the same way you linked it to the group. If you want to undo all group lights, turn off the console, simultaneously press two rectangular buttons and turn on the console. The Sky Beast has a general master mode. So if you want to increase or reduce the power of all used lights, press and hold the left rectangular button for three seconds. When you are in, use the first slider to adjust the volume. Under the same mode, there's also chasing lights function. So when you are in general master mode, you can adjust the chasing light function by using the second slider to choose direction of the lights, clockwise or counterclockwise. The third slider to choose the lights in the loop or not. The fourth slider to set how many lights to use, in our case five. And the fifth slider gives you the option to set your lights in random mode. When the desirable settings are chosen, briefly press the right rectangular button to turn off all the lights. And when you are ready to activate the lights, again, briefly press the right rectangular button. The speed of the chasing lights can be adjusted with the knob. To exit from this menu, hold the left rectangular button for three seconds. You also have a shortcut button for the strobe effect, 
which can be activated with a brief press of the left rectangular button and then speed adjusted with a potentiometer. The strobe will work on any color or filter setup. The next feature on the SkyBeast console is the use of the memory presets. For basic use of the memory preset functions, set the lights as you wish. Press and hold the memory button for two seconds until the button changes to red. And your first setup is saved. The same action has to be done for the next setup you want to save and the next and the next. You can save up to six scenes. When all memories are saved, to recall them, just briefly press the memory button of the scene you want. The fade speed between memory presets can be adjusted using the fade speed knob. So with this tutorial, we've covered all the basic functions of the Sky Beast console. But that's not all. If you want to learn more advanced and creative ways to use the Sky Beast console, stay with us for the next few minutes. So after you have stored the desired light presets, you can set the automatic memory recall by simultaneously pressing the menu button and the memory preset buttons. To activate this function, briefly press the menu button and choose the fade speed with the fade speed knob. If you want to use the same function in loop mode, do the same thing as I've just explained, with the only difference being you finish with the first button you started with. You can also set this function to mix your lights randomly and this way create your own effect. Let's say you need a fire effect, but in green and blue. Set the lights as you wish. Press and hold down the menu button. As you hold down the button, randomly pick up to 20 memorized presets and start the function with a brief press of the memory button. So remember, when you're pressing the memory buttons, you start and finish with memory button number one. The next powerful tool on the SkyBeast console is the possibility to group up to 16 lights with the same or different setup in the six pre-memorized scenes. Start this function by setting up the first light as you wish and memorize it on memory one. Go to light number two, set the desirable setting and memorize it again on memory one. Do the same procedure for all the lights, up to 16. Now when scene one is memorized and ready for filming, you can prepare the second scene by following the same procedure, but memorizing all the lights to memory button number two. then the third scene set up to memory button number three, and so on, up to six scenes. To recall memorized scenes, enter the general mode and recall them by pressing the memory folder you need. So we've come now to the end of the video tutorial. 
But if you need any other explanations or any other questions you may have, please contact us via email.